every time I play this goddamn video, I check my volume, but it is, in fact, no, it is, there is mute. It's an artsy silent film Kickstarter about That's right. financial literacy educational games. It's credit stacker. Um, so it's, it teaches students how to manage credit, pay bills, and achieve a high credit score. Via a Candy Crush sort of interface? Well, that kid, I mean, you know, he's old enough. He has to worry about his credit score, I guess. Or is it the world's easiest memory game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. There's a quiz. Okay, now you're back to Candy Crush. He took that quiz yeah. fast. He, I don't think he's 32 years old. <laughs> I, I feel bad for millennials. I didn't realize it was that bad. So the kid in the Jeez. video was what, like a preteen? I guess? All right, son, um, once you learn how to drive, you're out on your own. We've taught you everything <laughs> you need to know via this app. Now go buy a house. <laughs> Players learn how to manage various types of credit, interpret a credit report, achieve good credit, <laughs> and avoid risks of saving credit. To win, you have to make bill payments and maintain low interest on the loans. Poor credit and hide. Is it, aren't video games supposed to be like escapism? I think we found the next Angry Birds. <laughs> Just you wait. There's going to be a credit stacker movie in a couple of years. <laughs> I have to imagine the low bar for excitement the inventor of this had. <laughs> where this was kind of their life and was like, I want to share this with the world. We have to make a video game out of this. As he pays another bill. So speaking of credit stacker, uh, this Kickstarter is not stacking credits so much. Oh, f no. Maybe if they had sound, maybe another extra grand or two would have come their way. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to back this project. Oh, wait, hold on. I might have bills to pay. Do you know mind. how, Slow Beef? Are you financially responsible? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, have you aligned enough shapes to match in order to know how <laughs> to manage your finances? Hey, 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 that's private. I'm sorry. Amazingly, by the way, okay, yeah. 25 bucks, you get the game and the curriculum. They shout it at you. There's a curriculum that comes with this? Yes, you know, the curriculum. You mean the app? <laughs> I guess. And for $35, you get a guide. A strategy guide to this. Well, then why do I need to play the game if I can just read something to teach me how to... Don't you want to... Don't you want to simulate... Your horrible bills and everything. What's what is the fifty dollar collector's game guide? Collectors. What the fuck is that? Is these that these seem to like something a financially irresponsible person would contribute to to get. I think it's the DLC when your stuff goes into collections. Maybe that's what they meant. Honey, look, I got an autographed copy of the Credit Stacker Collector's Guide. Wait, look how look how fucking unfair this is. And then for a hundred bucks, you get the Wealthy Life curriculum, and it's like huge. Oh my god. Brain up budgeting, groundbreakers, academic. I had no idea life was so pay to win. Serious? Well, <laughs> that's that's capitalism for, for $250 it. or more. A temporary character. Oh my god. Design a character integrated into the game for three months. Our team. Let's look at the journey map just to the left of this. Our team created this and they can help you create a character. Are you sure I don't need to help them? All right. $500. Temporary board design. Ooh, an autographed copy of the collector's game guide. Autographed by who, you ask? And it's somebody. like when you take out a loan for a house and then the market crashes. It's all temporary. It teaches you, like, real life. Mm hmm And for 1000 bucks, permanent character. Oh, okay, that's worth it. And you also have $2,500 permanent board design. So if only 10 people could go for that. I don't understand, like... This game could help reduce poverty and increase wealth distribution. What? What? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I believe that's called trickle downloading economics. <laughs> the only way that can work is if it distributes wealth to the creators of this game specifically. <laughs> Which I think is the I idea. Mean, it's been redistributed. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> and then what we want to improve. High quality graphics, much better than these. What, these? Better than this? No. It's pretty close to real life. You got the dashboard that shows how much debt you have, your credit score, your age, and then various colored tiles with cars and <laughs> the horseshoes. <laughs> what? I don't understand what these tiles represent. Like, I owe $7,900 more on my car? And do, is that $50,000 in credit card debt? Holy shit. Oh, jeez. 
My God. Are you sure that credit score is accurate? Wow. And my mortgage, I have 152,000. <laughs> what are the power-ups? I don't... One of them looks like a like a, an alarm clock. If only you would wake up on time, you would not be in <laughs> such crushing debt. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the middle power-up appears to be money. Just straight cash. <laughs> oh, that's how you used to it. Okay. All right. The best I can tell is that third one is either a flamingo or a coconut drink. Well, sometimes you just need to take a vacation to rack up more debt. Wait, look on the right at the picture. Um, this is the information <laughs> box. <laughs> to aid you in your journey towards financial literacy. It's not very informative. <laughs> Put financial ideas here. <laughs> what does the APR box do exactly? <laughs> so fucking confusing. It's like a thermometer that's filling up. But what? For for what? Like credit cards? or? And you can turn off the sound so banks will stop calling you to collect the debt. <laughs> um, can I just tell you what, what experts uh, these folks are under risks and challenges, okay? Sure. Production of the game is simple. It's just a game, so other than designing the graphics, it's a straightforward product to make. Just push it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just a game. The, just biggest, draw challenge, shit the biggest challenge for us would actually be if you blow us out of the water. Like, literally with torpedoes, or? <laughs> they don't follow that up really with anything. <laughs> I I feel like... I feel, I feel like, really, they need, like, a little Kickstarter meter to help them go up there. <laughs> Reduce poverty? Yeah, I don't quite... I just, like, because the things they go over are, like, you want to learn how a credit score works? And it's, like, or interpret a credit report. If only there was a website I could go to. <laughs> Another thing, too, is that they say, like, it's available in Google Play and iOS and in 40 countries. Like, okay, those are oh. checkboxes. Like, I've submitted apps before. That's not, like, a, like, there's no rigorous check, like, wait a second here. You want to go to Canada? I don't know. Right. I mean, you check a box. <laughs> right. Multiple choice questions. Why do loan providers check your credit score before granting you a loan? They want 15 plus more in the levels. And social networking. Let's connect. Let's have your children communicate with each other about their terrible poverty. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. Do you see the picture of the info box? All you have to do is click the question mark. What's that? You don't see a question mark? The arrow's pointing at a big red X? Okay, it's hidden. It's hidden on the right. It's buried a little. But, you know, it's there. So how does the journey map work? The... the journey map there's the the truck and some sort of factory building oh i don't know it's like okay are you in the box the trucks deliver the boxes right but what is the box in the boxes debt well then uh, on level 11 uh or step 11 they enter the credit machine (laughs) yeah there's some like platformy spinning blades there wait what the fuck is the super meat boy now i think it is yeah uh, all right, and then, wait, no, it looks like boxes are coming out of the front truck and and then doing being this bounced thing. up via a lift to be. But then there's like a drug some more. But no, then there's a trailer on the lower right that's just pushing up dollar signs. So how do the what the boxes turn into money, or money was in the boxes? It's capitalism, so I guess the boxes become the money. I don't understand. Or is the money in the box? This is a huge waste of resources. <laughs> this building has no. Just open the box and put the money. Don't. You don't even need to unload into another truck. And this is helping me learn about finance. I'm more confused. I. Yeah. And remember, in level four, much like in real life, you must learn to utilize golden blocks, <laughs> which are cars. That's your objective. Yes. Sold. <laughs>